so if I ask for some feedback from the rooms in numerical order, I suspect that's a simple way of doing it. So from room one, Julie's room, could we have the rapporteur over to the rapporteur? Um, for some strange reason, I got voted in to do that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows why? Um, yeah, we had quite an interesting discussion, actually covered quite a number of um, issues. So thank you, everyone who joined the group. Um, we started off talking about retrofitting homes, the um, importance of getting it um, of getting it right, making sure that um, we aren't putting short term solutions into the, particularly when when talking about insulation into houses, which could let. Um, lead to longer term problems um, there was some quite interesting um, examples given where we've got some really good passive house stuff going on around the country and I've been given um, the name of a lady to get in touch with down in Exeter where they're, they're doing some good work so that we can um, look at um, their best practice and see if there's anything that we can um, integrate here at the end of the day if something is working well elsewhere, it's always handy to just take a look and see what you can um, take away from that. We then went on to talk about public transport and the importance of integration. Um, it was pointed out the huge problem that we have um, in and around not only Sheffield, but wider in relation to, for example, people not being allowed to take cycles onto public transport and that you know if you get on a bus you've got to leave your bike at the cycle um you know the on the cycle right or if you go into the railway station you've got to leave your bike at the cycle right you can't you can't take it on with you to use it so there's some important work to be done there we then got on to talk about how um you know the funding for, tra for, for public transport now sits with sheffield city region um, as opposed to individual councils. So we are looking at the, um, the bigger picture in relation to what happens with um, public transport and how we need to, need to deal with that um, moving forward. And that really, very quickly, um, I just think just about sums up where we got to. I don't know if any of my group want to um, go on. John, do you want to just... You've just put something in chat. I've not got my glasses on. Do you... Yeah, it's just another concept for you, Julie. But uh, no, there's, there's nothing you've summed that up very well. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, thanks ever so much, Julie. Thanks, John, as well. So the next feedback would be those with Tim in room two. So the rapporteur for room two, please. Um, everybody uh, nominated me. Um, so I've, I've got the, the short straw. Um, so it's some really good feedback from everyone and everyone has some really good ideas. Um, it was really helpful. So the, the tend to, the sort of feedback that came back was, uh, some is in the chat that talks about bulk purchasing solar panels that could be achieved. Um, we could be working with upper down renewables to, to, um, to, to follow the method that's been done there where people visit homes as examples of, of, uh, uh, energy efficient homes and, and what can be done. Uh, also suggested that we work with Sheffield Climate Alliance. Uh, there's some public engagement money that's been grants that's been given to them that we could perhaps utilize uh, uh, similarly. Um, uh, lots of ideas in terms of uh, how we could get out and speak to people. Um, and quite a few people were interested in joining, which is really nice feedback. So I'm going to send you some emails, Andy, to add to our our group um, so that we've got to, that can be added on. We've got a meeting on the 14th of July um, at 7.30. I hope that's still okay for, for you, Andy, at that time slot. Um, so the other ideas in terms of how to get out there, was suggesting that we put up a pop-up pop shop um, in both Penniston and, and Stocksbridge so that uh, we could advertise that using Penniston FM and get people involved. Um, Penniston FM, we could also get them, people involved to in terms of visiting homes as well, get them involved with that initiative. Um, we could book the library. Um, we could uh, that we could get some funding from the Towns Council in Stocksbridge for leaflets. Uh, we could work with uh, the Penniston School 
um, and there's a young person science club voluntary service where some of the some people from that may want to be involved uh, from a science perspective that we could make that uh, quite a sort of uh, educational piece but, but get their involvement um, other venues we could use would be the Peniston market um, or a place to, to provide a stall uh, we could go to the WI in Peniston as church groups that we could get involved with um, and um, we could certainly could get assistance perhaps in Stocksbridge in terms of hiring a building where we could put something up there to try and get people involved and try and increase the size of our group um, and a suggestion that we write articles in the local press to get people involved as well um, so some some really good thoughts there uh, we're looking to hold a session as I said in September where I think we'll take these ideas and uh, we'll share them with others and, and see what other ideas we get and try and put that into a, a plan so so thank you thanks ever so much Tim there's, there's some real positive outcomes there and of course, the very interesting information from Julie regarding the Sheffield plans that hopefully will be copied within the South Yorkshire mayoral region. Let's let's hope so. So that fr fr Frank and I were in room three and I think Frank's actually got some other information which is going to be interesting about a possible meeting at to show round his setup and maybe at Bull House Mill. Frank, over to you. Yeah, um, I'm going to um, take the liberty, if I can, of sharing my screen again. Um, there was uh, something I wanted to show. Um, so if I can do that. Uh, can you see my screen again? Yes, Frank, we can see it. Yeah, so it's a table on the cost, relative costs of energy, but um, apart from the cost, if we look at the right-hand column, the CO2 per kilowatt hour, um, the Solico is the name of the company that, produced, that um, made our ground source heat pump. Uh, and you can see that compared with gas, there's uh, a huge difference. Uh, the only thing that compares favorably with a uh, heat pump is, is uh, wood pellets. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that that must take into account the growth of the, you know, the trees taking out carbon dioxide to start with. Um, and I, I was telling Tim about um, the renewable heat incentive. Um, sorry, Nick, about the renewable heat. heat. Um, um, the, the domestic uh, is very generous. And that, um, that finishes on March next year. It makes a heat pump and most people could um, install uh, an air source heat pump. You can even get somebody to invest in it to, in order to get the RHI. Uh, that finishes next March. So if you've any thoughts about it, um, have a look at that, it's the Off Gem website. So that's the, the payback to the individual consumer per unit of energy yeah, so that their systems produce. It's running at 20p per kilowatt hour, believe it or not. So you actually gain from the uh, units of energy that you use up to a certain point. Yeah. Um, so if you, if you have, uh, Oh, I think that's sorry. I think that's ground source heat pumps only. But um, air source, I think it's it's an eight or nine p, even even for air source heat pumps. All right. Well, um, awesome. Some something else we mentioned was um, that in the latest look in this week's look local, there's a letter about um, up and on renewable energy uh, meetings to visit various projects. 
uh, renewable energy projects. And that's uh, the date set for that is 18th to 19th of September, if anybody's interested in that. Um, what was that again, sorry, Tim? 18th to the 19th of September, but it's in Look Local, if you look at Look Local this week. I'll pick a couple, yeah, marvellous. Um, and the, the only other, the, the other thing we mentioned, I think, was that, yeah, I'm, we're planning to uh, install solar panels, although the uh, planners are very negative about this when we uh, fill in a pre-application um, form. Um, so we might have a bit of a fight on there, but the obviously the solar panels will help to run the heat pump, which will make the thing even greener. Yeah, thanks very much, Frank. If you could just uh, stop that screen share, and we'll go back to see everyone.